is going on y'all i'm chiming in here real quick just for a quick parts video here um i ordered a bunch of parts this weekend i have a couple days off and all i've been doing is researching 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 uh all the parts that i need for the best bang for my buck so we all have budgets and i'm really trying to stretch my budget out as far as it'll go for some good quality parts here so um have my parts list here and a bunch of stuff that you know i want and need and need and want i guess i don't really need any of it but it's a want but there are parts that i do need for this build and i have everything priced out to the cheapest that i found it so uh, i'm really trying to stretch my money to get some good good quality parts here and um you know some of it's not you know in quotes the you know the best or top of the line however the parts that i did get are good parts and um these are the first few that have come in and i just wanted to make a quick video and show y'all so first up um as you know I'm, my pro charger build uh the pro charger takes oil you have to change it about every six thousand miles the one that i have is already broken in so um basically it's just a simple oil change it doesn't have any oil in it right now because it was shipped to me without oil however it's clean it's a good good setup i needed oil for it, it takes one of these and uh, that's the one that I have, D1SC set up. So I think there's two, maybe two or three different types of oils, maybe only two. Um, there's one other one um, that they make that, that is only used for like a couple different head units, but this is the one that I need for mine. And uh, 20 bucks, actually 19 something. Um, so order that, it's about as cheap as I can find it. Um, it's rare that they sell them in single packs. Usually you'll see them in like three packs for like 45 to 60 bucks, but I just bought one for now since I don't technically have to change it for 6,000 miles or 100 hours, I think it is. Uh, next up, so I had to order a new fuel pump, which was kind of annoying because, but it's my own fault. Um, and my current car and the Caprice right now, I have a Walbro 255, which is more than enough for my stock motor. Um, and my initial plan was not to boost the car um and i'll go a little bit further in detail just a little bit about uh another thing that i might um not might but that i should have done but i didn't do because i wasn't going to boost the car um but anyways so i had to get a new fuel pump because now with added boost and the upgraded injectors uh that i decapped um the 255 won't be sufficient enough to hold the type of power and the fuel flow that I need. So I got a Walbro 400. And um, the box says TI Automotive. And first I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. They sent me the wrong thing. They sent me some knockoff from China or something like that. However, I read it again and it says made in the USA. Um, and I guess TI Automotive either makes Walbro or vice versa. Somehow they affiliated because when I researched both their websites, they cross referenced each other's name and these. Uh, these um, part numbers are interchangeable or cross-referenced with each other. So, um, it's, uh, to my knowledge, they're affiliated with each other somehow. Um, and that's all I really needed to know. Um, and uh, this is the pump. So, uh, a little bit more heavier duty as far as just basic feel. Um, but yeah, so this is the 400. Definitely should handle the amount of power that I'm looking for. I'm trying to hit about 500 minimum to the wheels, which I should be able to do. Um, also comes with the filter and the, the uh, fuel hose for it and your connectors and wiring and, you know, clamps and things like that. So, um, but yeah, the, uh, the guy that I bought the Pro Charger head unit from, um, he had a 2000 or has a 2006, I believe, GTO. And um, when he first bought the Pro Charger, he was just basically running stock, all stock internals at the time, maybe some slight upgrades. And uh, and I think he had an intake, uh, upgraded the fat, he had the fast intake and a couple other things. And I think he was pushing about like 541 uh, to the wheels. And, uh, and so um, that's what I'm hoping to get for mine with the same head unit that he has because I bought it from him uh, and the pulley setup and all that. So that's what he says. So hopefully that's what I want uh, or hopefully that's what I can get. 
and uh, I'll be happy with 500 if I get any more great so we shall see but uh, that's the fuel pump I got and oh and I went with these guys so I bought it off eBay it's a company off eBay their name off eBay I think it's called high flow something high flow systems or something like that um, high flow ink or whatever but um, this is actually their company name quantum fuel systems and the reason why I went with them again is because when I first ordered, they sent you this here. It says 25 off your next order, 25% uh, off your next fuel pump order if you leave them five out of five um, detailed seller rating on eBay. And uh, they were great. The, the first fuel pump got here super quick. Works fine. And um, and uh, so I went on there and took advantage of it. And, and I messaged them and they were like, okay, yeah, if you want to order another one, just let us know when. And when I was ready to order, I sent them a message and... They sent me an invoice through PayPal and gave me a discount on this fuel pump, and uh, there we go. So I uh, got end up getting this fuel pump for eighty-seven dollars. Um, I guess their uh, twenty-five percent off is only on their products, um, only like their their own like products they make or whatever, um, but not supposedly on the. Um, like the wall bros or the other like higher end name brand ones um but i think the original price for the, this fuel pump was like 99 or 97 dollars and they just basically gave me 10 bucks off so um i'll take it i mean i'm trying to save money anywhere i can 87 ship there we go so got that and then i got this transmission cooler here so um my car does have a tranny cooler um aftermarket one but it's a bit small you know it's for um the lady that had it before had it installed um on a turbo for the turbo 350 uh transmission cooler and uh, i wanted to upgrade it anyway so um i went with this one so this is this brand here um i'm not even sure if it's called derail or derelli whichever one i don't know the name but that's the company obviously i'm sure you guys have heard of them um and that's the part number there um and i went with this one here so um, not their highest end one, uh, but not their lowest one either. I've done a lot of research on this particular one and I went with it just because one, obviously the price, but, uh, for what, um, I need it for, it should be well sufficient for my build, um, and my transmission. So, um, done a lot of research and reading and YouTubes and things like that. And there's also a really good video, um, uh, a couple videos on YouTube. I don't know if you guys follow the, a gearhead for life. Um, he hasn't actually hasn't posted anything in a while, but he has a good install video on this and talking about um, um, how he drives his truck and tows things and things like that and takes it on long drives and how um, when he has a temperature gauge hooked up to his trans, um, you know, it, it stays at that certain temp. It never goes higher. You know, I think he like moved at one point and was hauling a bunch of things and towing a car and it just like steady just stayed right there. And I think at the time he was running a 4, 4L60E like I have. Um, it could have been a 4L80, um, but I think it was a 4L60E and um, and um, this cooler handled like a champ. Kept his, kept his tranny cool just as it should and he was very happy with it and, um, and uh, that was one of the other reasons why I went with it too. So seen it there and then just researching some more and so that's why i went with it and the price was good it was about 65 dollars 64.97 or something like that so um what with that there comes with your fittings and and uh or your fitting for the um the transmission or not transmission but the radiator uh if you want to run it through the radiator your clamps here uh this is if you if you want to hook it up through your um if you want to mount it through your radiator or your um, your uh, AC cooler um, condenser, you can do that as well. It comes with the pads and the little locking uh, mechanisms things for these for these tie downs or strap downs or whatever you want to call them. And then it comes with the hose, so you can run the hose from your cooler to your lines on your transmission. Also, what I liked about it too is it came with these great detailed descriptions um different fittings that you could use for you know your gm your fords your dodges whatever uh jeeps all that and then uh very um all installation instructions very very detailed it gives you three different ways you can mount your cooler 
your fitting there, um, where those go, how you want to mount it on your, uh, or behind your radiator. I mean, very, very detailed. And even from here, mounting it and hooking it up to uh, our recommended way and um, a secondary option or preferred method and your uh, next option that they um, suggest. So, I mean, I was happy with that. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this is the cooler itself. So I have it open here. Let me just take it out real quick. Then I will uh, cut this video short as I got some things to do. But uh, that's it, y'all. I mean, that's pretty much it. I can, you can see there. So, I mean, pretty decent size. I mean, this box is not small. You know, and that's how it kind of looks on the box. Uh, I don't know the exact dimensions of it. I think it was like 11 by 12 or something like that or other. I'm not sure. Um, but um, that's it. So I'm happy with that. That's the one I'm going with. And, and that's the one I'm going to hook up. And again, it was like $64. So I can't beat that. So anyways, y'all, I will keep updating you more as more parts come in. I have a whole, whole bunch of parts coming in from a an intercooler for my pro charger to um to a uh a wide band that i ordered oil pressures sensor i mean all kinds of stuff i ordered i'm um, actually going with exhaust cutouts for my exhaust uh later on down the road i'll probably hook up some electric uh cutouts for it too so i don't have to take off the plates on them all the time um, you know, just some little things and, and, and some and some other um, parts that I have coming for this build and gather up my parts now so I can just start piecing this thing together. So anyways, I got to get on with my day, got some things to do um, and I uh, just wanted to chime in and kind of show y'all what's going on. So I will talk to y'all later. Peace out and have a phenomenal day.